You know, we're all guilty of buying things on impulse. Looks fantastic in the catalogue, then it gets delivered. Oh, installation, oh, way too challenging. Now, just like the owners of this apartment here, they wanted to hide the fence, so they thought they'd put on a little lick of paint, but no, the strata plan says no painting. So what do they do? They order online one of these. It's a vertical garden, but they didn't count on the weight of the soil in these pockets. All way too hard, so it ends up back in the garden shed. So I'm here to solve that little problem and bring in some colour and brighten this little courtyard up for spring. Now, there's another job that I want to sort out. This soil, oh, look at that. It is so heavy. I suspect it's way too wet, because look at these. These little plants here have just died. They've all rotted off. So I'm going to get the fellows in. Chaps, can you get half of this soil out? We'll replace it, put in some nice fresh soil, and I'll go off and do some shopping for some inspiration. we're working in is really quite modern, so I thought we'd increase the spring vibe by introducing colour in the landscaping as well as in the plants. Now, I love these raised garden beds. They're fantastic for growing veggies in particular. You can actually order them in a whole range of different sizes and colours. So I'm going to pick up a few of these and paint them in colours that complement our existing scheme. Then I'll attach a frame up to the height of the fence to grow some climbers over. I'll make three of these, plus sort out a way to support those vertical garden bags. Now, it's not often I go shopping for gardening in the plumbing aisle pipes, plus all these little angled bits and pieces and joiners will enable me to make a really great climbing frame for my climbing plant. No, no, stick with me. Then I'm going to paint it the same colour as the pot. You'll love it. Paint plants. Soil, now I need to get back to work. OK, now this is the fun part where you put it all together. Now putting these things together, if you're over 50, it's like a Meccano set. If you're between 5 and 50, it's like a Lego set. I'm going to have to undercoat it first and then put on my surprise paint. Remember those pieces of pipes that I got in the plumbing aisles? And this is how we make our little stand. This is more fun than when I made a billy cart when I was about eight years of age. They go on the end, screw all those in, and because I'm painting this as well later, it needs an undercoat. What do we want? We want it all, cos we're young and we're living for fun. Now, for my surprise colour, it is gloss bright orange. OK, don't forget the climbing plant frame now. Right, we'll let one dry. See how this one... Yep, this one is dry. These don't have a base because they normally sit directly on the ground. But I want to move this one around to take advantage of the moving sun during the year. So Greg's just made me up a, a base with some wheels, which is really handy. Thanks, mate. That's perfect. A little bit of a tip. You'll notice inside here, you've got the screws which stick out. So Greg has actually taken a little chamfer through there on all four sides so that those screws will just slide straight onto the hole device, like so. And this is what we're going to put our climbing plant on. Now, that's another reason why it's handy to have a timber base with wheels, because we can actually secure the frame to it. Thanks, mate. OK. Right. Now, the next little job is to hang the wire. Looks a bit average at first, but once the plants grow, you won't see a thing. So we've got some geofabric. That'll stop the uh, soil from spilling through. And then we're going to fill it up with a soil mix. Now, what we're planting in here is a star jasmine. There we go. Beautiful. Right. Now, we'll use this soil. Turn it around a little bit so that 
it's up against the wire. We can actually remove these little critters. I'll reuse these little clips to secure our star jasmine onto our frame. No fear of dying. There we go. Then we can just use those little clips again to uh, put them onto the wire. OK, that's the star jasmine secured. These beautiful little Kalankowies will be perfect just at the front here. These are the double, the new hybrids that you'll see in your local garden centres. And they're about six different colours, and they flower for months and months. Basically, don't make things more complicated than they already are. So I'm just going to hang the vertical gardens up with some really strong rope. Looks great because it's nice and chunky. But to stop it fraying at the ends, I'm just going to use some white tape. Seal that off. Now, take it down about 30 centimetres, fold it over, and then just do a little knot, but leaving a little loop on the top. Now, we just thread it through the eyelet, like so, and put the rope loops over the metal hooks. That'll take all the weight of the soil in the plants and look great. I'm going to put some of this perlite about a third in each of the pockets. Look, it's really light. It improves drainage for all the plants that we're putting in. OK, let's pop in our plants. There are lots of different ripsalis around at the moment. They're great in hanging baskets, but in vertical gardens, they're just perfect because they like the drier conditions. Now, these little fellows here, we'll just put them into there. One in the middle, something tall and elegant, I think. And then we'll just backfill. Now, the other plants we've added are some anthuriums here. Only a small variety, not the really big one, and some ivies. Now, you can get really small pin ivies, like this little fellow here, isn't that cute? Watering. Most of these get too much water, and that's why they rot and they don't last. Get your finger in there, and if it's cold, it's wet, and don't water it. So in summer, you might be watering at the most once a day, in winter, once a week. But I'm not finished yet. That lower garden bed with the boggy soil that I showed you earlier has been beautifully replenished. Now, I'm using a potting mix for tubs and troughs because this is basically one large trough. And we're going to plant it up. Now, the owner of the apartment has had these sitting around, obviously, to do this little job, so we're going to do it for him and plant these out right along the way. This is evergreen giant Mondo grass, and it's a nice, tall, leggy one. That's about as high as it gets. And some more of those bright orange Kalankowies would really tie our colour scheme together. Now, these little silver fellows are cotyledons, lovely succulent. Just brilliant, I love it. And then finally, I'm putting in a little variegated Tradescantia. For a final spring clean, we'll give these tiles a real once over. OK, the next stage in really brightening up our courtyard for spring is garden lighting. You can't have a courtyard and party time without lights. LED globes are fantastic because the variations you can get, it's a lot of fun. You can even connect them, believe it or not, to your phone with an app. They're fairly heavy, so I think to secure them, we're going to use these cable ties to this cable wire, which will secure on either side of the courtyard. Right, OK, all the globes are now on the wire. But so that we can just sort of secure it really simply to the building, we're just going to put this carabiner on the cable there. My mate Sparky's going up the ladder. And then you can just hook that on the top there, mate. Well, those lights look fantastic. But while I was shopping earlier at Bunnings, I had a look at their new season's outdoor furniture. I have to say, the new styles are a bit of a blur between the indoors and outdoors. Have a look and see what we chose. 
Beautiful. Thank you, team. Excellent. No entertaining courtyard like this would be complete without a fantastic barbecue. This makeover has been a real team effort, so the least I can do is feed the troops. You know, apartment living can be a bit of a challenge, but it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy a beautiful garden. Select some great plants, be creative, or maybe go vertical, and you will have extended, fantastic living space come spring. OK, grub's ready. Come on, guys, out you come. Who would have thought? The gardener at the barbecue. Eat your heart out, Ed. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Graham. Yes, my pleasure, mate.